Okay, with this tutorial, I want to talk about uh, arranging the brushes that you work with on a regular basis. Um, after playing around with these, you'll kind of uh, get to know which brushes you favor over the other ones, and instead of just looking at all these other brushes that you rarely use, like I rarely use the oil pastels, you can kind of organize your own little kind of private library. And this is the one that I have right now. These are the brushes that I use on a regular basis. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I'll get rid of mine because I already have it saved. And where you find the brushes, the little brush icons, the ones to kind of choose from, go ahead and pick which one you ever want to start off with, and just click on that and drag it away from that menu, and then you all of a sudden have a whole new library to pick from. And you can go ahead and make this a little bit larger, and then kind of keep uh, dragging you know, the brushes or pencils or whatever you want to work with, whatever you think you work with on a regular basis, just right over there. And once you get that going, what you can do is just go ahead and kind of make it a little bit larger so it's a little bit easier to work with. And at first it's kind of hard to understand how you can actually edit these things because it seems like they're kind of stuck in place. Um, what you have to do is hold down the shift button and then you can actually move these around so you can get them all nice and neat and in, uh, in one line. And then also if you decide that you don't necessarily want one, like you don't want the eraser one, uh, once again, just hold down the uh, the shift button, pull it away, and then poof, it's gone. And then we can shift that one back there. And then to save it, just go ahead up to Window, go to Arrange Palette, go to Save Layout, and call it whatever, whichever one you want to. My brushes. And press OK. And then you can just go ahead and you know add to it, or if you decide you want to get rid of it or whatever, and then you decide, well, you know, I really did like that layout. You can go back to Range Palettes, uh, click on My Brushes, and it'll come back up for you. And this will also save the uh, general layout of uh, everything that you have going on. So if you wanted to, you know, move this over here, or move this over here, or you know, whatever you'd want to do, you just go back there and uh, save layout. You can just call this one crazy layout and hit OK. Let's go to the uh, default layer, back where we should be. And then if I wanted to go back to that palette, we can go to crazy layout and here we are again. So it's one very easy way of keeping organized. Another way to organize your brushes is the way that you actually uh, preview them whether you're going to see them in a list like this or whether you want to see them in a thumbnail. And what you can do is once you actually open up this little palette here of all the little brushes, you can click on the little uh, flyout menu here with a little arrow and you can choose whether to, uh, to see the thumbnails or you can choose whether to see the list. And the same thing applies with the variances. You can click on here and see it all with the list or you can hit the little flyout button here and you can see it with the thumbnails, however you uh, choose to see them. I generally prefer the list. Uh, yet again, another way to organize your brushes is if you click on uh, the brushes that you have here, um, let's take uh, the chalk one that I'm at right now, and you click on the variances, um, you'll see that um, really closely, if you pay attention, that we have quite a bit of repeats going on in a way. We have a blunt chalk 10, blunt chalk 20, blunt chalk 30. Um, this is basically the different uh, brush sizes that we're working with here. So if I work with 10, 10 is basically the same brush as 20, it's just a little bit bigger. And seeing how it's so easy to change the size of your brush, you know, whether you're going to change it over here or whether you're going to change it with a, with a shortcut you have under keyboard, it's kind of a pain to kind of go back and forth here um, to change the brush sizes. Plus it takes up a huge amount of space. Um, I've already edited mine quite a bit. Um, one way you can edit yours, if you think this is just way too confusing, because at first impression it seems like you have 100 brushes to choose from, you do have a lot, but it's a little misleading because a lot of these are just repeats. You know, these three are repeats, these, these three are repeats. Anyway, what you can do if you want to um, kind of like edit the ones that you would actually see is you go over to, uh, to Windows, uh, you go to Workspace, you go to Customize Workspace, and then you click on the brushes here. Uh, click on Paint Brushes. 
And then you have all the brushes that uh, you have to pick from here. And we can go ahead and we'll pick the uh, we'll pick the chalk one because I know there's already some repeats that I haven't uh, deleted yet. And you're not really deleting them, you're just kind of like uh, turning them off or on. So you're not necessarily seeing them all the time. So we have uh, the blunt chalk, 10, 20, and 30. Um, generally what I would do is I would get rid of the, uh, the two extremes. So get rid of 30, uh, get rid of 10. You don't have to do this, but I find it's a really easy way of kind of organizing your palette. And then just go ahead and uh, click done when you're done with all of that. And now we can go back to our chalk, and you can see now we just have a blunt chalk 20. So that's one very easy way of uh, organizing your palette, and you can get rid of maybe uh, one fourth of the brushes that you uh, that you have to work with. And you're not really getting rid of the brushes themselves, just getting rid of the, the different sizes that you have. And like I said earlier, it's a lot easier just to do that, you know, changing the size here, or the brush uh, shortcut that you have either on your uh, keyboard or your Wacom tablet.